Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of The Legend of Korra. We're on season three or book three, episode nine. This episode is called The Stakeout. Oh right, the last episode we found out that Ai Wei was um, a betrayer of the Metal Clan and Korra was gonna go sneak out and go after him. We still don't know why our antagonists are trying to capture Korra and yeah, there's just a lot of questions that need to be answered. So I can't wait. Let's watch it. Thank you guys for watching with me and I'll see you guys in the comments. Let's go. Oh! <laughs> Whoa, look at those birds. Where's their head? Ooh, look, they have a mover poster of me. Must be big Nuck Tuck fans. Yeah. I'm not sure that's what that is. No, those are <laughs> wanted posters. Wanted by Her Majesty the Earth Queen. I swear, if I ever see her pinchy little queen face again, I am gonna... Uh, guys? Yeah, I think maybe it's time to go. <laughs> you let Cora go, and then you go stab me in the back? You can't control the Avatar's every move. I can try. Lynn is definitely... You know, she's determined. She's got a good heart. Naga found something. Oh, sorry. I forgot to bring treats, but good girl. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Mochi's done that to me on multiple... My cat has done that to me on multiple occasions. <laughs> oh! Bolin and I will investigate the Misty Palms Oasis and see if he's holed up there. Ooh, Mako, 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 we should wear disguises and pretend we're going undercover. Ha <laughs> ha! Police work is so exciting! They do need disguises because they're wanted. I'm an ex-United Forces operative named Ting Ting. Ting Ting. Until Ivy came along and showed me what real love is. Let's just find Ai Wei. But I haven't even told you your backstory. I'm a cop. I don't have a backstory. Oh, you're good at this. <laughs> oh, Bolin. I love Bolin. Season three Bolin is great. Shoot. Human customers only. Let's see if this guy knows anything. These guys don't seem to be happy about the spirits around here. Uh, 60, balding, wearing glasses and a long green robe. And he's got this weird piercing that goes from his nose to his ear. Sounds like a guy who came in last night. I told him I had the best drinks in the Earth Kingdom and he called me a liar. That's him. <laughs> That's him. But he was right. My drinks are terrible. Aww. <laughs> it's a nice view. What does he here want with me? What's his plan? That's what I want to know. But I think I found a clue. Ooh, what's that? Jai Vow's Grove, Sundown. This must be where and when Ai Wei is going to meet Zaheer. Or is it a trap? Go away. I'm trying to find something. Oh, he's been recognized. I think there might be a couple bounty hunters over there who recognize me. Well, they need to ditch the bright yellow raincoats because... It's gonna be hard to hide okay. in those. I think we're clear. Else recognizes us. <laughs> I way. We could, or we could follow I way instead. Look. Play it cool. And follow my lead. Ting Ting always finds his man. See, a disguise is fine, but they stand out like a sore thumb. So everybody's gonna be looking at them in those bright yellow cloaks. We found Ai Wei hiding at an inn. It looks like he's going to meet Zaheer at sundown at a place called Jai Bao's Grove. I say we stake out his room, and when he leaves for this meeting, we follow him. A stakeout! These little spirits are everywhere, and they're all so cute. We'd like a room on the ground floor, across from 102, please. Forget it. We found you! Oh, boy. Hey! Whoa, 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 whoa. We're not here to fight you. They're fans? We're here to meet Nuck Tuck. Oh my god, no freaking way. We're your biggest fans. <laughs> oh no. Always love meeting my fans. <laughs> I 
made this Nuck Tuck doll for you. <laughs> Cute. Why didn't you tell me your friend was a mover star? We'll just take the one across from 102. But that room is too small for the four of you. It'll be perfect. I'd just like to state for the record that this room is not perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Naga takes up half the whole damn place. There he is. I thought stakeouts were supposed to be exciting. No, it's a lot of sitting and waiting. <gasps> hey, look! A pie show board! I'll play. Oh, no offense, but I learned street pie show from Shady Shin, and I am pretty good. She's gonna rock his world. I learned to play from my dad, the diabolical genius. I'll destroy you. Hmm. I don't want to rush you, but let's speed things up a bit. This game is all about slow, methodical strategy. No, it's not. This is a fast-paced, edge-of-your-seat game of chance. Don't think, just go. But <laughs> I think our friend Mr. Rulebook might disagree with you. It is a game of both strategy and chance. So they're both right. And each culture has its own rules and variations on the game. Cora, as the Avatar, you need to standardize these pie show rules. I'll put that on my to-do list right after bringing back the Air Nation and taking down the group that tried to kidnap me. That's cool, whenever you get to it. <laughs> If Iwe and Zaheer don't know they're being watched, they'll talk freely. Then we'll know who they are and what they want. That's just like Pi Show! In order to defeat your opponent, you first have to know your opponent. I win. What? Best two out of three. I love the how the um pieces look. The decorations. Eight out of fifteen. Seventeen out of thirty-three? <laughs> I can't believe it. You might actually win this one. <gasps> no! Pabu! Why? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, wow. What did Bolin do to you, Pabu? It's almost sundown. Why hasn't Iwe left yet? I'm going over there. Cora, wait! It's over, Iwe. Where's... He's... What? Oh. He's not gone. He's meditating. Asami, those spirits were trying to tell us something earlier. Jaibao's Grove isn't on the map. Because... It's in the spirit. Oh. It's in the spirit world. I'm going in after him. Be careful. Well, that was easy to find him. Happened back in Zaofu. You told me we wouldn't have any problems. Any evidence was destroyed when my library burned. Where is your physical body now? At the Mystic Palms Inn. I was not followed. You left a loose end. You are the loose end. <gasps> Zaheer! How did he do that? Oh no, not this place. I mean, I weigh... Does he deserve that fate? That's pretty rough. So what did you do with him? He'll be spending eternity in the fog of lost souls. That's messed up, man. I wouldn't wish that fate on anybody. But then again, I don't know how horrible their plans are with um, Korra here. I'll answer whatever questions you have. You deserve that much. Who are you people and why do you keep trying to take me? We are the Red Lotus. Red Lotus. We are what the White Lotus was meant to be. They became nothing but glorified bodyguards who served corrupt nations. That's a great story, but it doesn't explain why you tried to take me when I was a kid. That was Unalak's idea. Unalak. My uncle was part of the Red Lotus? Wow. Misty Palms in. I like how they connect Unalak to this. Her. We learned about Rava and Vatu, and how Avatar One foolishly severed them. He was trying to restore balance. He closed the portals, severing humans from spirits. Even you realize the error in his ways. So she opened the portals. So why you got beef with her? That's why you tried to take me when I was a kid? We could have taught you so much. Sounds like you wanted to brainwash me. All I wanted was to show the Avatar a better path for the world. They're gonna be having company. Uh, water arm lady and lava guy found <gasps> us. Get Korra out of here. Bolin and I will hold them off. Lava guy is so cool. <laughs> if my uncle came up with a plan to abduct me when I was a kid, why wasn't he caught? Covered up his involvement afterward. So he betrayed you, just like he betrayed me. 
Unalak becoming a dark avatar was never part of our mission. Sounds like Unalak. I want what you want to restore balance to this world. Bringing the spirits back should only be the beginning. What's that left out? You've had to deal with a moronic president and a tyrannical queen. Don't you think the world would be better off if leaders like them were eliminated? No. It wasn't too long ago that the airbenders were nearly all wiped out. Is he spitting facts? True freedom can only be achieved when oppressive governments are torn down. It will throw the world into chaos. Exactly. The natural order is disorder. Uh... I don't New know about that. New cannot exist without first the destruction of the old. Yeah, but taking some liberties on the interpretation of like exactly what can be applied to that. I can't beat this guy. It's like I'm giving him ammo. What a trade! Ooh, ouch. Yeah, he is just giving this guy ammo. Oh my goodness. Oh no, she's gonna ice it up maybe. Oh no, she is bringing him out. Go get the avatar. I have these two under control. Man, what a cool shot. What a cool shot here too. Man, the direct like the art direction of this episode is insane. When I awoke with airbending, I knew I would be the one to destroy the old world. As an airbender, you could help make a positive difference in the world instead of destroying it. Once change begins, it cannot be stopped, even by the Avatar. If you do capture me, what are you going to do with me? The Red Lotus should have you by now. See you in the physical world. Dang, they do have her. Oh, man. Wow, they oh, really you. have her. You tricked me! Asami, are you okay? Zaheer didn't capture us. The Earth Queen's forces did. Oh. They're taking us back to Ba Sing Se. Oh, that's interesting. He doesn't have like completely bad yeah, ideas. I figured you could find a use for these two. Oh. Now they have collateral. And that's it. I don't think Zaheer is 100% wrong. I mean, obviously there's some issues with some of the leaders and uh, in the present and in the past, but the way he's going about it is just not right. I mean, yeah, the world's not perfect. There are some changes that could maybe, you know, could happen to make things better. But this is, uh, well, I mean, he's a evil, evil schemer. So it makes sense to him. So interesting how he wants, like, all this time he wants Korra to kind of, like, be on his side. But I also don't think he's going about it the right way to, like, kidnap her, coerce her, and then try to, like, get her on his side with his ideal ideology and stuff but that's interesting the red lotus and now he has they have mako and bolin and the earth kingdom has the earth queen has Korra and asami well we know that lynn is uh she's looking for us she's looking for everybody so hopefully she'll come around in the next episode or two and help out. And lastly, I really love the fans of Nuktuk. <laughs> I thought that was really neat. That was fun. That was a uh, that was a nice little touch. I think Bolin would have really enjoyed it if the timing was a little bit better. Okay, well, until next episode. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. I look forward to reading your comments and chatting with you about uh, the Legend of Korra. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.